Welcome to Believers IAS. So UPSC has released its notification for the upcoming 2024 exam. So let's see what the notification says. The first thing, it, the date for the last application when you can file is 5th of March by 6 p.m. And how to apply? You need to go to upsconline.nic.in. So I will show you in the later half that how do we apply for this. Then for the modification in OTR, this is important. In case the candidate wants to effect any change, it shall be allowed only once in the lifetime after the registration at OTR platform. <coughs> the change in OTR profile data shall be available till expiry of seven days. So this is important when you fill your OTR. And you can check out the dates. And it also says the candidate will not be allowed to withdraw their application after the submission of the same. So the UPSC has made certain changes this time. It has said that if you file, if you think there is some error in filing your uh, application, you can apply multiple applications. But the last application would be considered. The, if you have applied, say, five to six applications, and the sixth application would be considered by the UPSC. And about counting, like, is your attempt will be, uh, will your attempt will be counted or not? For that, the UPSC has said that if you have gone and attempted even one paper on 26th May, then your attempt will be counted. If you have not attempted any of the paper, then your attempt will, will not be counted. So this is clear, right? And this we know that there's negative marking. Okay. This is important. So UPC has brought certain changes. Instruction in respect of uploading photograph while filing. So now, since there were many cases that other people were going and writing the exams for, you know, we, we saw that many fake people had uh, written pay, uh, exams. So the UPSC has said that you have to produce the latest photograph. So which which supposed to be 10 or 20 days before. And the candidate face should occupy three fourths of the space. And below that, your name and the date on which the photograph has been taken. And it has mentioned that if whatever in whatever condition or whatever state you have taken that photo, if you have long hair, if you have beard, you should go in that same way when you write your exam. Tenth point is very important with respect to the exam. Should the candidates are supposed to reach the examination hall at least 30 minutes prior. I have seen particularly in, uh, in my career that there are people who have, you know, missed their exam due to this. So do not take this lightly. So as we know that there are All India Services, Group A, Organized Group A services and Group B services also in this UPSC Civil Services examination. So these are the names, you can go through this. So this is more important, the most important one for us. The number of vacancies. So this time the vacancy is 1056, in which 40 vacancies are reserved for persons with benchmark disabilities. Six for blindness and low vision, 12 for deaf and hard hearing, and nine for locomotor disability. So, so you can see that around 1000, it is for open categories. Open as in for SC, ST, OBC, and for the rest 56 or around, I think it's around 40, 50, 60, 70, around 80 are for the people with benchmark disabilities.
So these are the services you can go through this. In the list of disabilities also. And these are the civil uh, civil, uh, civil services center for prisms. So there are around I think 80 centers which you can fill. But keep in mind that it's first come first serve. So the application has been rolled out yesterday. So before 5th you need to, 5th March you need to fill the form. But one thing that most of the prime locations gets booked very quickly. So if people are writing for uh, Delhi, Hyderabad or Bangalore. So just fill it at, as soon as possible. And for the mains, there are 24 centers. So <clears throat> the rest thing I've already explained, but certain things I want to tell you is like while filling the form, make sure that you choose your center accordingly, which suits you. Because uh, we have seen that in the North India during, you know, the prelims time, it is too hot. And in South India, you need to plan it in accordingly if you are staying nearby, right? And for mains also, think, think about it and fill your form. But once you fill the language, the problem comes in the language, which language you want to write your exam. So make sure that you do not commit any mistake in filling, uh, filling that part. So there is one compulsory uh, language test. So people tend to make mistakes and they choose that as a language for other exams also, like other subjects, paper one to four or optional. So make sure you don't do not commit that mistake. And rest <coughs> for the reservation, there are certain changes. There are, uh, like the cutoff date has been prescribed. So you can go through that. So these are the eligibility. Age limit is important. This is important. A candidate must have attained the age of 21. So minimum age requirement is 21 to write the exam and not have attained the age of 32 and he should not be 32. So what are the cutoff date? First, this is the cutoff date, 1st August, right? So you need to remember this, that he should not be born earlier than 2nd August 1992 for the general category and not later than 1st August 2003 and for OBC you can add plus 3 and SCSTs you can add plus 5. So minimum education qualification, we know that minimum a degree is required. Diploma will not be considered, right? These are the number of attempts. For general category, it is six. For SCSTs, it is unlimited. For OBC, it is nine. And people with benchmark disabilities, it is 9 for general categories EWS and OBC and unlimited for SCSTs. Fees you can go through this. So there are uh, for, for the OBCs 3 years of data or the income, it has to be considered. And the cutoff date is, I think, the March 2024. Before that, you need to produce your uh, certificates. And for EWS, it is only for the last year, uh, the income they will be considered. And the same cutoff date would be March 2024. So you need to produce a document which is before this, age, uh, before this date. Otherwise, UPC will not consider. If, if, also, if, if you get into the list also, they will not consider.
then for this the next one is the syllabus so please make sure that you read the syllabus which is mentioned in the upsc itself it is mentioned in this <coughs> file so So this is important withdrawal of application the candidate will not be allowed to withdraw their application after the submission of the same so there was earlier it was said that last year there was a case regarding uh, you know to reduce the cutoff of uh, csat paper 2 because many people felt that the paper was very tough so people were hoping that you know the cutoff would be below 20 you know around 25% but see the qualifying marks of 33 in general studies 2 of civil service preliminary so they have retained the same so it is 33% only so i can say this for sure that the paper would be you know even more tougher what we have seen last year so it was just a trailer last year so be well prepared okay and there's a negative marking we already know of one third so what that what does that mean if you mark three wrong your one right question will be you know foregone see here this a these are the portion for your mains you can go through this for 300 marks this is just for qualifying papers you need to score 25 percent rest there it will be counted and all are for 250 marks so in this file it is mentioned all the syllabus what you have to study okay please go through the syllabus and th these are the list of optionals also you can see the list of optional if you have not chosen one, please choose one. These are more important for all those uniform services, right? So as we know that UPSC conducts civil services into three stages. First is prelims, which will be held on I think uh, May 26th, and then the next is mains. Whoever clears prelims, and the ratio is very less. So according to one RTI, we have seen that around you know every year 10 lakh people uh, you know uh, fill the form, but around 6 lakhs people they actually appear for the prelims. In that last year, around 14,000 people had cleared uh, prelims. And in mains, around some 3,000 people had cleared. And again, interview, the final merit would be around 900 or 1,000. So you can see, you know, not even, so what is the percentage you can calculate? How many people are actually getting through? And what is the uh, competition? But you don't need to worry about it. See, this is the syllabus which I was talking about. You need to go through this. Like for the preliminary, the paper one, current events of national and international importance, history of India and Indian national movement, India and world geography, physical, social, economic geography of India and the world, Indian polity and governance, constitution, political system, Panchayati Raj public policies, rights, issues, etc. Economic and social development, sustainable development, poverty, inclusion, demographics, social sector initiatives, general issues on environmental ecology, biodiversity, climate change that do not require subject specialization. So for the environment, it is clearly mentioned that it doesn't require subject specialization. And then the last one is general science. What about paper two? 
Paper 2 would have would comprehension, interpersonal skills including communication skills, logical reasoning and analytical ability, decision making and problem solving, general mental ability, basic numeracy, class 10 level, data interpretation, etc. So paper 2 is of qualifying, right? And similarly, they have shown this uh, syllabus for the mains also. So please go through the mains syllabus too, right? So now, I will show you how to fill the uh, UPSC form. So first thing, go to upsconline.nic.in, which it was mentioned in that file, okay? So once you go there, for the if you are a newcomer and you have not done this one-time registration, so click here and you can fill it in this way, right? So this is for the already registered people. For the new registration, click on new registration. New registration, you have to fill your name as per class 10th. Verify your name. Have you ever changed your name? Gender. Then verify gender. So all these things, father's name, mother's name, minority status, mobile number, alternative, class 10th board, question, and then you have to submit it. So once you submit this, go back to the same <coughs> So you go back here again, upsc.online.nic, again you go to this and start, you know, you'll get an OTP, then you can log in. And after you log in, so it has two parts, you need to fill both the parts and once, once you have successfully registered, you can go write your exam. So this is it for today. So I hope you, you are all well prepared and for the newcomers, just keep studying. All the best. Thank you.